Good afternoon. Today is the first day of 2019. Uh, because of that, it's a significant day in all of our lives. And you might be making plans for the year ahead and deciding what you are going to do and what changes you're going to make. But are you moving with them? I have been giving a lot of thought, of course, to the tarot because I'm doing this series for you. But what is happening to me is that I find myself clearing and tidying and making things ready for the new year. And I didn't realize I was doing that until I looked back at my actions over the last week or so. And I think that I have felt this before in less fortunate circumstances when something inside of me said it's time to clear away the old and make way for the new. So what I have been doing, I find in the garden, is making paths, which is quite an interesting thing, in areas that I've resisted making paths before. Clearing away the underbrush, getting rid of overhanging trees, so that I can easily and uh, without danger move around the garden and pick the fruit that is there because I've planted all the, the berries, I've planted seeds, I've planted vegetables but somehow it's very hard for me to harvest because all the, all the trees they're so luxuriant and wonderful but they're blocking my path so today well for the last couple of days I have been building parts. I've been cutting down uh, and all the underbrush, leaving the canopy of protection, but cutting down the underbrush and making clear paths through to the most productive parts of the garden. And I think that's a very interesting thing that I have uh, been doing without thinking about its connection to the tarot or to where I am on my life path. But I think that it, it really is indicating to me that I'm coming to a, a new part in my life, as we all are. And trimming off things in the garden is uh, doing in the physical what is happening to me on the subconscious level. The card that we're looking at today, because yesterday we did the Fool, which is one of my favourite cards, and today we're doing the Magician. There we are. They're out of my set. The Revelation Tarot. Black and white, as you can see. If you have the cards in front of you, you will know that is the magician. Um, most of the images in my tarot cards are female, although I didn't especially aim for that. I do have males there, uh, but if a female came through, a female came through. I, in reading a lot of books about the tarot, uh, mostly they say he when they're describing anything happening in the tarot, but mostly I say she. The magician is, when it's upright, when it's in the correct position, it is about using your power, using it for good of course, making things happen. Don't stand back, make things happen. Sort of like me in the garden. I'm kind of rushing ahead, doing things, and then go, oh yes, this is why I'm doing this. When the card is reversed, when you pull it out and it's reversed, it means that there's something blocking your path, or you're not quite ready for change. 
And I guess I've been stuck in that pattern a little while, as evidenced by the undergrowth in the garden. <laughs> And the fact that I, I couldn't get to the raspberries today, I must say to you, I have picked 750 grams. Uh, and there's more on the way. So yes, if you don't prune the garden, you don't get the results. So the magician signifies a change in your consciousness. The establishment of self-awareness. Now I have to say, in reading the cards, I can tell you all this kind of stuff. Uh, you can get a book from the library that also will tell you, but that will never make you a good card reader. A good card reader is somebody who is prepared to use their intuition, even when it doesn't seem right to them on the inside. You know, sometimes I get a word or an image come through me and I think that can't possibly be for this person but I've learned through painful experience to trust the message that comes through and when I do the person is usually astounded or starts crying or whatever uh, because it is the right message and that's what makes a good tarot reader not somebody who can um, just read the cards according to what they've learned. It's like it's like this little tool here. Uh, the crystal ball. That's a particularly lovely one, by the way. Not a big one. I might get a big one. I was going to get a bowl, but I might get a ball. Anyway, for my, for my Christmas present. I haven't bought my Christmas present yet. So, with the crystal ball, you also have to allow what is coming to come. Because if you don't, you might as well just read out of a book. I think the most important thing with the cards is to trust your intuition. And, you know, every as I said to you yesterday, every card is different for every person. The, the the ideas are there, the the uh, path is there, but how we get to it is different. The magician means different things to different people. You know, when I drew these cards, I put a lot of uh, thought into images and what it would be. You will notice that there's no faces. When I see angels, I don't see them with faces. They're usually very hugely bright, and the faces. Maybe I don't pay attention, but uh, it's just an energy. And it's the same with this card. It is an energy. Around the card is the zodiac, because the magician is in charge of of the heavens and the earth. The magician knows how to deal with the material and the spiritual. Um, the magician has the wand in the hand and the other hand, the, the right hand, it's got the wand and the left hand is pointing to the earth or on the earth or in the case of this card is um, holding a diagram representing the earth, the pentacle. Uh, the sign for eternity is over the head and all of these things tell you that this is a very powerful image this person has the potential uh, to really make changes this is the first step in conscious existence the manifestation of change so in you, the tools that this person has to use is the tools that everybody has, which is uh, love, money, power and work, and change is inevitable. In numerology, when this card comes up linked to numbers, it indicates that this person sitting in front of you who's chosen this card is a 
pioneering sort of individual, not frightened to go forward, not frightened to be the first. Um, somebody who will use their intellect to change the world. Lots of energy and need to know everything about a situation to understand and experience everything that they can in the course of their lifetime. This person needs to be fantastic at everything that they do and realize that they're going to have to take responsibility that, you know, in, the, in treading this path, this path comes with responsibilities. You can't go willy-nilly into this path, no. The card also indicates uh, motivation and organization. Everybody has what motivates them. In sitting with somebody with this card, if we're exploring the motivation and how we can move and change and make the most out of that motivation. In this day and age, although you wouldn't see it in the Rider Waite tarot or the medieval tarots or the Renaissance tarots or the French tarots, uh, we've got lots more to consider because we have the technical age here. We have um, information coming to us all the time. So we have no excuses for not manifesting change. You know, when I first started yoga, started teaching people if I wanted a query if they asked me something and it was pretty tricky and I needed to explore it and I didn't have a book on my shelf that did it I had to go on the train to Melbourne to the State Library investigate it and then come back because there wasn't any direct route I, there was no body that could answer my questions we didn't have any yoga books at the library, it wasn't until about five years after I started teaching in this district that the librarian suddenly said to me one day, um, can I get some yoga books in for you? Would that be helpful? Well, yes. So nowadays all you have to do is Google. So there's no reason you can't manifest change because you can explore potential before you even have to do that. The Magician is an inspiring card which says, let's go, let's move ahead. Let's take charge of this life, make plans. The only way you will not succeed is to fail to plan. You just can't charge off into the distance without a plan. The universe will help you if you help yourself. You know, uh, from a Shaolin point of view and from a yoga point of view, the, uh, there's only one way to become expert at something, and that is to keep on doing it. Repetition builds expertise or mastery. And Einstein said, only one who devotes himself to a cause with his whole strength and soul can be a true master. For this reason, mastery demands everything of a person. You know, Einstein wouldn't have been able to do what he did if he was thinking, oh, well, I'd, maybe I'll be a plumber, maybe I'll be a this, maybe I'll be a that. Oh, I'd like to do this. Oh, that would be terrific. No, he knew what his path was and he didn't deviate from that path. He had enjoyments, he had, you know, he didn't, he didn't stand aside from pleasure, but he didn't deviate from his path. It excited him enough uh, that he could stay there for the whole of his life. Everything in my life, I, I haven't got... Um, multiple parts. People often think that I have, but I, I haven't. Um, yoga and the tarot and numbers and, and art, they all fit together with me. I just feel it's 
aspects of the one path. Maybe with Einstein, he thought that um, geometry and trigonometry and calculus and physics and this and that, they were all branches of the one tree. And he just stayed with that one tree. So if you want to master something, if you want to take advantage of the magician, you have to know your motivation. What motivates you? When you can decide that, then you will be able to move forward. If you have this card reversed, then you don't have what is required at this time to make any significant changes in your life. Whether that's energy or space or you haven't decided what your motivation is, you're still juggling things. And when you're like that, negative thoughts block you from new beginnings. If you can't decide which direction to go, then negative thoughts will get you. You know, I was told years ago, if you're in a, in a fast moving stream, and that here's the cat coming again. If you're in a fast moving stream and a uh, log comes past, just grab the log. You may be wanting a ship or a boat, uh, but it's the log that you have, so you're going to have to deal with the log. Okay? You can't say, this is the cat, see? You can't say, well, I'd rather have a ship or I'd rather have go by train. You're in the middle of a fast moving stream, grab what comes past and decide later whether it's the right thing. It will lead to something else. You'll either bump on the side of the, of the uh, stream or whatever happens, you will have time to think about it whilst you're on the log. So don't, don't refuse opportunities that occur. Make sure that you allow enough time to realize the implications of where you are. Don't just rush off into the distance. I hope that you are enjoying the, the tarot. It certainly is uh, causing me uh, to re-examine my cards. Um, and we've got, I only did the Major Arcana because the Major Arcana, well, they, they're the only ones that came through to me, but the Major Arcana uh, directly affect current situations. Uh, they represent the journey as, it, as it's affected by your past life and your present life and your possible future paths. So I just think that that is what people need to know. And I add numbers, numerology and other things to it because that assists me. Um, I'm not sure why the minor arcana has not come through to me, but maybe in the same way as we're learning to deal differently with karma in this present age, the minor cards are not as relevant as they once were. I think we have to look at the major arcana in light of technical things that are happening and uh, move forward with those. I think that if you can't do a really interesting reading with three cards, uh, you won't be able to do an interesting reading with 76. It will just be a lot of words and the person will go away uh, knowing that you spent a lot of time, but have they learned anything that they will take action on? This is the most important thing. If your client is, is not inspired to move forward, then you haven't made any difference in anybody's life, apart from you've spent time, which is sometimes just lovely. Spending time and talking to somebody is beautiful. So we will keep on marching through the tarot and 
I just hope that you're enjoying it as much as I am. And the cat is. She's learned to open the door. Uh, she's always known how to open doors but wasn't terribly good at this one but now she's mastered this one. She's good at mastery, the magician. Namaste. Have a wonderful day and move forward into your future. By the way, this is the cat. This is Gracie, the cat. Ha <laughs> ha.